Kita akan mulakan uh, <coughs> Kita akan mulakan insyaAllah dalam 2 minit lagi. Oh, saya nampak Dr. Zainal Ahmad. Kita akan mulakan. Uh... Oh, Dr. Zainal. Prof. Zainal. Oh. Okay. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi, selamat sejahtera. Welcome to everyone. Uh, our clicks from uh, USM and Webex, as well as other participants watching this or following this session on our YouTube channel. So welcome to this webinar series um, brought to you by Center for Development of Academic Excellence, CDAE, or Pusat Pembangunan Kecemalangan Academic uh, University Science Malaysia. My name is Abdul Karim Alias, the Director of CDAE. And for your information, this webinar series, uh, a part of our program for professional development, program that we run for our academic staff spread over three campuses. And uh, today, uh, our webinar, we, uh, we, we have uh, this more like um, a workshop or rather, uh, because uh, I think our speaker today is Dr. Siti Zuraida Muhammad Osman uh, from School of Educational Studies. And uh, she'll be sharing with us um, basically a, a skill, eh? a very important skill nowadays, uh, how to develop a eh? 15 minutes video lecture, video lecture using free and easy tools. So this basically developing or creating your instructional video. So I, I call it DIY instructional video and you can do it on your own and you can develop this very, very useful skill that I think every everyone, every academic now nowadays should have and should master uh, the skill to develop instructional video content because video is one of the the type of content that uh, widely used now to de to, to deliver content. But we don't want to create a long video. So basically today, Dr. Siti Zoraida will be sharing with, with us how to create a bite size. We call it bite size short video using free tools yeah? using free applications free apps free tools that you can uh, download as apps on your phone or web-based application like screencast or matic uh, which you can also download anyway uh, so um, there is no reason why we cannot 
create our own uh, instructional video. And it's not difficult nowadays. It's something that we can learn and a skill that we can learn uh, slowly. And if we keep on practicing, we can create a very good quality video. So this is what uh, this session today is about. And um, before we start, some some uh, important points there in, in uh, for, for the CPD points. Uh, I have, I've never actually mentioned this, but maybe I need to remind everyone uh, about CPD points because, because we keep getting requests uh, after the webinar, you know, people want to get a CPD point because they don't fill up the form and for whatever reasons. And, and this actually can cause, um, you know, uh, unnecessary issues. So uh, I would like to remind if you want to get a CPD point, you have to attend the webinar, uh, the whole session of the webinar, and you have to complete the feedback form. And the feedback form will only be given, the link will be given 30 minutes before the end of the session. And it will be, sorry, uh, the, the form will be given towards the end and it will be active for 30 minutes only. Okay. And um, if you don't fill up the form, then you won't get the CPD and um, just wait for another session, <laughs> attend another session to get the CPD. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So let me very quickly introduce uh, Dr. Siti, Dr. Siti Zuraida, uh, Muhammad Osman. Uh, she's a lecturer at School of Educational Studies, MC Science Malaysia, and currently is teaching ICT and education and technology courses for postgraduate program and her research interest in e-learning, mobile learning, flipped classroom, blended learning, web 2.0 learning tools, design and development of teaching material and profiling databases. So Dr. Siti Zuraida, thank you so much for uh, you know uh, accepting our invitation to conduct this webinar. And uh, I think that, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah? So uh, I'll, I'll pass the screen uh, to you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Prof. Yeah, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Okay, thank you so much, Prof, for the uh, short and sweet introduction of myself. And also an uh, introduction about our workshop for today, which I also have the same uh, introduction that I will link to, uh, to you, okay, about our uh, workshop for today. So first, I will share the screen. Okay. Everyone can see my screen. Yes, now we okay, can. Thank you, Prof. Uh, Dr. Siti Zareda, uh, yeah. you will be sharing the all the slides, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so for today, we are going to have uh, our hands-on workshop. That's why my slide, I mean, the background is. Yeah, you can see here his arm, okay, hands, where we need to do, I mean, uh, together okay, in developing uh, 15 minutes of video lecture using free and easy tools. Okay, so as mentioned by uh, Prof. Karim just now, that in order for us to create a quality video, uh, as we can see, Prof. Karim already created a very quality video. So this is my master C4, okay, in USM in creating a video lecture, which we can also, I mean, uh, refer, okay, or give an idea to us on how to create a quality video lecture. However, in order for us to calculate, uh, sorry, to create uh, the video lecture, okay, we need first to start on trying and error, okay, developing a video lecture, okay, using free and easy tool first. Okay, after that, when you I mean, use with the uh, apps, uh, software of creating a video lecture. So then you are going to, maybe we are going to subscribe using our own money, okay, to develop a quality video lecture for our students. Okay, because nowadays our students, I mean, 100% we are having an online lecture uh, in, throughout the whole semester. So, uh, and our students are not, 
I mean, uh, equipped with uh, high uh, networking or high speed of internet uh, networking. So it is hard for them okay, to follow our lecture in a synchronous uh, learning where we, I mean, use web platform okay, to give or deliver our lecture. Okay, so our student might be on and off okay, in our webex session. Okay, so that's why, uh, as for me, my student, uh, they love when I, they like when I use, or uh, sorry, I create a video lecture and then post it or uh, give the link to my students. Okay, and then they will watch the video lecture and then in class, we are going to have uh, our I mean, uh, teaching and learning session with Q&As and also activities, okay? So, and we can short our, uh, I mean, a Webex session with our students, where our students cannot, I mean, have the Webex session more than one hour, okay? So, it's okay when we have a synchronous, okay, a short synchronous a session with, with our students, and we have a synchronous session uh, or lesson with our students. So that uh, the most important is the outcome or the uh, whatever we deliver to our students. Okay, our student can achieve the learning outcome that we have set. Okay, in uh, our uh, lesson on that day. Okay, so uh, when I ask my student, okay, they say they love to do a synchronous, a synchronous learning. Okay, where we communicate. Okay, through WhatsApp or through a forum, okay? So that's why uh, they want a 15 minute video lecture, okay? I mean, if you try it, okay, in your class, you will have uh, an interaction, I mean, a full interaction with your student and also your student are fully engaged, okay, with your lesson on that day, okay? Although we are using WhatsApp, students are fully engaged, okay? We can see uh, their answers, okay? and so on. So this is, uh, I mean, the uh, outcome of this webinar where the first one, okay, all the participants here are going to use okay, video recording and editing tools. I mean, after this, you are going to use it and that record your own video lecture. So in this webinar, we are going to record our own video lecture. Okay, we can start with, uh, I mean, uh, a simple video lecture first. And then you can edit maximum of 15 minute video lecture. Okay. So if you can edit one to five minutes video lecture for today webinar. So it's clear that I mean achieve the outcome for today webinar. So today is hands on and a step by step and demonstration where we will uh, develop together. Okay. A video 15 minute video lecture. So any technical problem, you can uh, share your screen and we can try to solve your problem, okay? Share your screen or also you can just, I mean, uh, post your question in our chat box. So we have here uh, lots of uh, expert, okay, in a video recording will help me to answer uh, the question, okay? Especially we have uh, Prof Karim and the team. Okay, and then we have uh, the last uh, outcome is produce one 15 minutes video lecture. So this webinar, we are having three hours okay, of webinar. So just a 15 minute, at least one, maybe at the end of this uh, webinar, uh, some of the participants can, I mean, uh, present or uh, show to us okay, what uh, they have created for the video lecture and we can give feedback to our uh, friends, okay, to so our participants so that all the feedbacks are very I mean, uh, good luck for us to improve our video lecture. Okay, especially we have all the expert here, okay, which can uh, give feedback to our video lecture. Okay. Okay, the outline for today's uh, webinar is we are going to have, uh, I mean, uh, record a video lecture first, where we are going to use screencast or matic and also a mobile phone because uh, when I see most of the webinar, some of the participants are using uh, handphones, okay? And some of the participants are using iPad, okay? And uh, laptop. So maybe we can have a mobile phone, 
a video recording and also edit using your mobile phone. Okay, so maybe uh, some of us like to use mobile phone okay, to do their works. Okay, so we can use mobile phone for 15, just 15 minutes video lecture. Okay, maybe for one or two hour video lecture, we use mobile phone to create it. Okay. As for me, I'm, I have tried to use a mobile phone okay, for my uh, introduction video okay, at my previous uh, institution. Okay, before that, I'm from uh, Polytechnic before okay, for 15 years. Then I came to USM okay, and teaching uh, technology subject. So before I'm an accounting lecturer, so I'm moving into a, a instructional technology subject here. Okay, but in my previous institution, I also use Okay, a uh, video lecture okay, to teach accounting okay, to my student. Okay, so we have here uh, edit a video lecture. Okay, and then we are going to use these three application: OpenShot, YouTube Studio, and KineMaster. Okay, so I mean um, there is also a participant that has been uh, I mean gone through into all these uh, application or maybe you have used this application, okay? So this application, I mean, it's free, and for me, it is easy, okay? So I have, uh, for example, in my uh, previous uh, workshop, okay, I have a senior participant, senior lecture participant, which uh, it is not familiar with all this uh, application. Okay, but when they, they use this application, they say it is easy and user friendly. Okay, it's not too technical. Okay, but after you are used uh, with all this uh, easy and user friendly uh, application, you might go to the advanced. Okay, uh, I mean all the advanced function uh, or the advanced uh, application to develop a very quality video lecture. Okay. Okay, this uh, for this webinar participant. Okay, I mean it focus on the beginner and intermediate participant, uh, not the advanced uh, participant who already uh, record an advanced uh, video lecture. Okay, I'm afraid it's quite boring for you. But if you want to I mean, stay in this workshop, uh, maybe you can. I mean, add on okay, whatever I have. I mean, shown in this workshop or deliver in this workshop, you can add, or you can also, I mean, uh, give any feedback, okay, into whatever I have, I um, mean, shows here, okay? So, I mean, we are learning together. Yeah, learning is a lifelong learning, okay? We are still learning until the end okay, of our life. So, in order for us to uh, create a video lecture, uh, the most important part is uh, we need to record first. Okay, so you cannot use uh, other people uh, video recording. Okay, so we need to record first whatever we have record. Okay, so it's okay if you record uh, something that it is not, I mean, you want to edit after that. Okay, for example, okay, uh, you have uh, uh, background sound music or background uh, sound that will, uh, I mean, mengganggu lah apa yang kita buat dalam our video lecture. So, you can edit after that. Okay. Or, uh, while you are recording your video lecture, okay, you are sneezing, coughing and so on. Okay. After that, we can edit our video. Okay. Using free and easy tools. Okay. Because some of the participants have told me that, okay, uh, uh, record a video lecture, okay, it is something that uh, make them uh, very tired. Okay. Okay. So, Bila record this video lecture. Why? They need to record. Okay. Re-record. Okay. Redo and redo. Because all the, uh, I mean, benda-benda uh, yang mengganggu tadi lah. Okay. Which I say, uh, sometimes they forgot about what they want to talk. Okay. What they want to deliver about the content. So, recording is something tiring. Okay, so it is not tiring, okay, if you know how to edit the video lecture, okay, so you can just continue recording, okay, although you have, I mean, whatever gangguan tadi lah, okay, 
So editing the video lecture, this is the most important part. Okay, after that, we can do uh, create our own micro credential or asynchronous lesson. Okay, asynchronous lesson, we will upload our uh, video lecture before class, or we can do a flip classroom lesson. Okay, so this is what a beginner or intermediate can do in a micro credential. Okay, micro credential also accept. Uh, I mean, um, a beginner or intermediate video lecture. However, after we already have all the skills for the beginner and also intermediate, then we can go for advanced quality video lecture. So we can change the video lecture or we can edit back our video using all the effects, okay, all the transition, okay, all other interactive icon. Okay, so this is uh, what? We are going to the participant that we need in this webinar. Okay, the requirement for this webinar. Okay, I hope all of you have with you the laptops with web camera, key webcam, and at least thirty percent of empty space. Okay, why? Because we are going to, I mean, uh, record our video. Okay, and then we are going to save or download the application. So at least thirty percent your of your uh, we, we have, you have an empty space in your uh, laptops, okay? And then, uh, handphone, okay? If you use handphone, at least 30%, you have empty space for your handphone because you are going to record and edit using your handphone, okay? So, at least 30%, uh, okay? If not, uh, it's hard for you to record, okay? If you want to open the application also, it is not... Uh, I mean, you cannot open the application because uh, you don't have empty space in your uh, handphone or laptops. Okay. And then also you need uh, to have high internet access for you to download. Okay. After that, for online, uh, sorry, for offline application or software, you can, uh, you don't have, you don't need to have an internet access. You can record it offline and edit it offline. Okay. So, but for you to download, you need to have high internet access. It's, it's, if not, you are going to, I mean, the downloading, okay, the loading for the download is very slow, okay? And then we have a lecture slides, okay? If you have your lecture slides, okay, with you right now, okay, it is, uh, I mean, encourage for you to have the lecture slide. If not, we can just, I mean, uh, upload a background and then edit with text, okay? Or a soft copy of your teaching material, whatever you have, okay? For example, some of you might have an image, a video, okay? Or you might have uh, your infographic, okay? So this is also can uh, be used in this webinar for today, okay? So this is what are the requirements for our hands-on webinar. Okay, so I hope all of you have this one. Okay, and then uh, before we start, okay, I need to do a survey first. So this is a webinar survey for today webinar. So you can either uh, scan the barcode or the uh, link. So I will provide the link here in the chat box. Okay. So everyone, uh, can you please, uh, I mean, uh, this one, uh, the gg.gg uh, link here, okay, so can you please answer the question so that I know uh, most of my participants, what are the skills they are having right now, what are the tools that have, they have been used before, uh, so that uh, I can focus, okay, or I mean, uh, give a long time to the uh, whatever tools or uh, software okay that the participant are not used to before okay so this is okay okay so this is the link i already post in our chat box and this is the qr code okay that you can scan to answer the question so maybe we will have around two minutes okay to answer the question Okay, and then if you have questions, just post in our chat box or you can on your mic 
and I mean, uh, give your question here. Okay, so we have two minutes to answer this survey. Okay, so when I see the survey uh, respond after this, okay, so I can focus on which, uh, I mean, uh, we can have a long time with that tools, okay, uh, either it is on the recording or it is on the editing. There is a participant who never ever uh, record a video before using the tools. Uh, that I use for the webinar, so I will start okay from the uh, first lah. Okay. Okay, we have another one minute. Okay, so at the meantime, I will scroll in for this uh, chat box. Okay, so we have free ebooks. Okay, from uh, for video creation. Okay, we have uh, all the resources. Okay, that Prof Karim already post in our chat box. Please use it. Okay, it is very useful. Okay, you can uh, refer to this. Uh, I mean, ebook and also our CDAE website. Okay, uh, learning for life so that we can uh, refer to the example, okay? And then we have here. Okay, never use, okay? So never use, just put it there, no lah. Or just don't answer, wait. Huh? Oh, I forget about, thank you so much. Okay. Never use. Oh, some of you never use, huh? Sorry for that. Okay, this one I just, I mean, off enable the required, apa, disable the requirement. Okay. okay, maybe you can refresh back. Okay. Thank you so much for the feedback. Okay, if you never just uh, don't answer the question. Lah. Okay, maybe you just can refresh or click back the link and answer back the question. Okay, so thank you so much for the answer. Okay, so we have, oh, more than half. Okay, uh, never ever develop a complete 15 minute video lecture. It's okay. So we are going to try okay, to develop it today. And then... We have here. Okay, know how to use. Okay, so we have 11. We have uh, the never one. Okay, so never use a screencast before. Uh, I can to start with this one. And then. You know how to use, okay. we also have, okay, the no answer, the never answer, okay, PowerPoint, some of you are using PowerPoint, okay, you have edit a video, no, okay, so you know how to use, okay, so we have, okay, not all, okay, no, because we have a never answer just now, okay, and then, and no answer just now, I have used this, okay, so we have no answer, so there's not, 
all participants know how to use or have used. Okay, this all the uh, what we call uh, ed video editing tools. Okay, so whoever have no, okay, I think maybe you can help our uh, friends. Okay, on how to develop a fifteen minute video lecture. Okay, so for today we are going to start. Okay, first. Okay, a screencast omatic. Okay, so for screencast omatic, we need to go to this website first. Okay, in order for you to uh, download, okay, the screencast omatic. Okay, so after you download, okay, uh, you are not going to do it online. Okay, so this is the website of screencast. Okay, I already post the link in the chat box. Okay. Okay, so Prof. Karim already put it here. Okay, Kini Master and Limix Pro. Okay, so a powerful, a powerful video production. Okay, on our phone. Okay, so after this, maybe we might go for this uh, application. Okay, uh, advanced application of Kini Master. Okay, so this is the website. Okay, just go through the website. Okay, continue. Okay, so this is a screencast omatic uh, web website. Okay, I think everybody have go to this website. Okay, if you are go using your handphone, okay, what you need to do is uh, go to the Google Store or App Store. Okay, so Google Play, Google Play or App Store, and then just type a screencast omatic. I think you can download in your uh, handphone. Okay, either it is a, a, a what we call iPhone or Android. Okay, just go to your uh, mobile and type a screencast or matic. Okay, sometimes we using our mobile phone to record uh, the what we call a video lecture. Okay, so maybe our a mobile phone or our handphone have more space. Okay, uh, compared to our laptops. Okay, so some of you might use your mobile phone to record your video lecture. Okay, so you might may, maybe purchase a stand, okay, handphone stand or the tripod so that you can record it uh, clearly lah, okay, rather than use, uh, I mean, you just hold your handphone and record your uh, video, okay. So uh, we have here screencast automatic. you can go to the website or Google Play and App Store, just type screencast automatic and then download. Okay, so it is free, user friendly, and a limit. Okay, time limit is 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes, it will, I mean, uh, uh, it, it will not, uh, I mean, apa, uh, stop your video lecture, but you need to alert with the time. Okay, so sebabnya lepas 15 minit, it's still going on. Okay, kita takut after 15 minutes, I mean, kita cakap sorang-sorang lah because it is not recorded. Okay, so you need to uh, I mean, alert with the time and you need to stop, okay, before 15 minutes, okay, using the uh, free tools. Okay, this free, this is not, uh, I mean, a subscribe version. Okay, but if you use subscribe version, you can record more than 15 minutes. Okay, and it is offline. Okay. And also in Google Play, you can record it offline. Okay, so uh, I hope all of you have installed the screencast omatic. Just go to the uh, website, and then we have here record for free. Okay, and then we have also here download. Okay, you can scroll down. Okay, scroll down. Record for free. You can record it online. Okay, if you record online, it will. I mean, uh, when your internet networking is not uh, very high, it's slow, or you don't have uh, internet networking on uh, while you are recording, so penat lah kita record, okay? So, lepas dah record dalam 10 minit, after that, okay, our internet is offline. So, all the, whatever we have recorded is not recorded, okay? So, better we download an offline uh, I mean, software or application. So click here, download 
the free screen recorder. Okay, so you can download it. Just click download. Okay, and then you can launch free recorder. Okay, after click download, you can click launch free recorder. So this is downloading launcher. Okay, so it is auto download here where you will have your screencast okay installer in the download folder okay you can see at the uh, bottom left okay we have here click web launch recorder exe so it means the installer already in your desktop so or in your, your laptop okay uh, if you use mobile phone okay it will be in the i mean your home screen lah, okay where you have the icon of uh, screencast formatic. Okay, so when you have the uh, installer in your laptop, you can click installer here. Okay, click the installer. Okay, so it is starting up. Okay, starting up. Okay, maybe you can, uh, because I already installed it, you can just uh, click next, next, next until finish. Okay, it is same as whatever uh, software or application that you download okay, in your laptop. Okay. Okay, do we have any problem for you to uh, install your screencast or matic If you have problem, just, uh, I mean, Put it in our chat box. Okay, so my already uh, installed. Okay, so this, uh, I mean, frame you can see here. Okay, our recording frame here already. Uh, I mean, we have in our desktop. Okay, appear here in our desktop. Okay, so do we have any problem in uh, downloading your screencast? Okay, so if you don't have any problem, then you can launch your uh, screencast. Okay, or your screencast will be in your desktop. Okay, here, this is the icon of a screencast or matic here. Okay, so after it appear in your desktop or in your mobile apps, home screen, okay, you can just click this one and you can do it offline. Okay, you don't have to do it online. Okay. Okay, if you want to sign up, okay, for the screencast, you can just sign up. It's free. Click here and sign up using Google. Okay, don't use a manual, manual sign up. Okay, just click in, sorry, sign in with Google. Okay, so because if you want to download, you don't need to sign in or sign up. Okay, so you just can download it freely. Okay, if you want to sign up, it's okay. So you can sign up and record it online. Okay, but what we want to do for today is we want to do it offline. Okay, so that you can record it offline because we don't want to have any problem lah. Okay, where while you are recording your uh, video lecture. Okay, sometimes it is too tiring, so that's why. Okay. Uh, our friends or our lecture give up to do the video lecture. So if you have this uh, icon, okay, in your uh, desktop or in your mobile phone, you can just open it, okay, double click it, and then we have here, okay, in the top, uh, sorry, in the bottom right, okay, you will have the screencast automatic uh, features here. Okay, so it will be pop up here in your uh, bottom right here. And then you can just click the next, the second icon here, which we have the camera here, launch recorder. Okay, click launch recorder. Okay, now we have the 
frame. Okay, so you can just move the frame here. Okay, you can move here the frame. Okay. It's too slow here. Maybe I need to off the blue stack. Yes. Okay. Yeah, a little bit slow here. I need to off this one first. Because I open the blue stack email. I mean, okay. ganggu yang lain lain lah. Okay. So this is the frame of uh, our screen cards. Okay. So you can see the frame here. Okay, whatever you want to record will be recorded here. Okay, so this is the same with uh, when you do Webex with your student, you share the screen with your student, right? Okay, so this is also the same function where you, uh, I mean, the frame you can adjust, okay, make it bigger or smaller here. Okay, so this is the frame. Okay, for example, we have our slide. So I open the slide. So this is my slide. Okay, and I don't want to record, uh, I mean, uh, full screen to record this screen, okay, the small screen here, okay, without uh, what we call a slideshow. Okay, so this is the screen of my slide, so I adjust it into the screen of my slide. Okay, so this is the slide that I want to record my video lecture. So this is a simple video lecture recording. Okay, so and then I go to the next slide, for example. Okay, so you can see the slide. Okay, where we have uh, the screen is not any moving lah. Okay, the frame okay, still remain in this uh, slide. Okay, so you can either record it like this or you can record it in a full screen. Okay, so you adjust the screen into full screen. Okay. This is full screen and then you can do your slideshow. Okay, so this is how you want to record. Okay, if you want to record the screen, okay, some of you might have a web page that you want to show to your student. So, for example, this is a web page I want to show to my student. So, I will adjust okay, the screen here. Okay, so that my student can see the screen here. Okay, some of you might want to show to your student the application okay for example we have a, a software that you want to show to your students you can also do it like this okay open up the application and then you can for example we have open shot here so i open up the open shot application okay and then i adjust the screen okay, okay with the application okay so this is open shot application that i'm using Okay, so I will adjust the screen, okay, same as the application dashboard. Okay, then you can show the application to your student. Okay, so this is how you are going to, uh, I mean, uh, set up the frame of what you are going to record in your screen. So this is what we call screencast. Okay. A simple screencast where you want to record your slide, okay, or you want to record anything in the screen, okay. You can just record it. After that, we can edit, okay. So don't make yourself, don't tired yourself, okay. So maksudnya kita record banyak banyak kali buang masa lah, okay. So just record it. Walaupun uh, kita ada kesalahan, 
Okay, apa-apa bunyi bising, just continue. Okay, we can stop for a while and then we continue so that we can edit. Okay, so this is the frame for the screencast that you want to record. Whatever in the screen. Okay, if you don't want to record the screen. Okay, so we can have here, you can only record the screen here. So click screen. So it will record the screen without your faces, without your face. Okay, so just record a screen without face. Okay, I mean, the student cannot see your face, just the slide, but they can hear your voice, your audio lah. Okay, so you can just click screen. So this is without your, I mean, face lah to your student. And then webcam. Webcam is only your face. I need to stop the video so I can show the webcam function. Okay, so webcam. You can hear here, webcam. This is screen. Ah, so this is webcam. Okay, so webcam you can see. Okay, your face here. Okay, you just record your face. Okay, without any screen or without any background. Okay, this is just your face for you to record. Okay, and deliver your content to your student. Okay, we can edit after that with our slide. For example, you don't have time. Okay, I mean to open up your slide. Okay, your class will start uh, tomorrow. Okay, so tonight you need to, uh, I mean, uh, post your video uh, lecture to your student. Okay, so what you need to do is maybe you are so busy on that day and then you have uh, around 30 minutes rest. Okay, you can use your phone or you can use this, uh, uh, what we call screencast and just record your face first. Okay, and then we can edit. We can combine with the slide using the editing tools okay or you can edit using your smartphone okay so this is what you can do to record just your face or some of you might want to give instruction to your student what are the activity they need to do okay because you don't have class you are you, you are going to you i mean implement or use uh, asynchronous learning so what you need to do Okay, maybe you want to give instruction to your student okay, for today class. So you just record your face and give instruction to your student. Okay, some of your students, when they see our face, okay, they will, I mean, do the activities that they, we ask them to do because it seems like we are seeing them face to face. Okay, give them the instruction face to face. Okay, so you can just uh, record the instruction and then post the uh, question, uh, sorry, post the activities to the, uh, sorry, post the video to the student. Okay, or you can record both. Okay, for both, you will have your picture in the, I mean, slide. Okay, so this frame for your picture or your face, sorry, your face, okay, you cannot, I mean, adjust it, okay, make it bigger or smaller. Okay, the size is like this. Good. You can put it idea either in the <coughs> sorry in the center or at the bottom right. Okay, or you can move up. Okay, here and down. Okay, so this is how you are going to record with your face. Okay, so you are going to record the slide with your face. Okay, you can also ask your student to record their presentation using the screencast or Matic. Okay, I also ask, encourage my student to use screencast. Okay, but our students are very, I mean, active and very skillful. So they can explore more on other uh, video screen recording. Okay, so my student also uh, record using their smartphone. Okay, handphone. So this is, uh, I mean, the, uh, the way you want to record your video lecture. Either it's just the screen. Okay, just your face or both. Okay, so you can decide it. If you put it both, I mean, you can edit uh, whatever, uh, I mean, uh, clip 
that you want to remove. Okay. So maksudnya while you are recording, kalau ada kesilapan je, teruskan. Okay. So my suggestion, if there is any mistake, okay, that you realize uh, where, when you are recording your video lecture, you can just pause a while. Make it around one minute. Okay. You pause a while and then you start back. Okay. Start uh, back wherever the mistake uh, that you have done before. Okay, Be because it is easier for us to edit after that. Okay, if you don't pause, you will have problem to edit your video. Okay, why? It is hard for you to, I mean, uh, look at the timeline. Okay, where do you do the mistake? Where do you start the, uh, I mean, the new one? Okay, but if you pause, it makes you easy to edit or remove all the mistakes that you have done. Okay, so this is how you want to edit and record your video. Okay, my suggestion, you just pause a while and then continue, okay, your lecture. Okay, don't redo. Okay, after that you edit. Don't redo. Some of our lecture or, or, or participants, they say they redo back. So it will be tiring to you lah. So it's better for you to just pause a while. Okay, just one minute. And then you can continue with your lecture. Okay, so this is how you are going to record your video lecture using screencast. Okay, the way, the approach or the method you would like to use. Okay, so don't redo, just continue. But you need to pause a while and then start. Okay, whatever uh, mistake do you have done before. Okay, don't do the mistake lah. Start the new one. Okay, and then after that, we can edit it. Okay. So, another thing, the most important is the narration. Make sure, okay, green bar flash when you talk. Make sure green bar flash when you talk. Okay, I'm not using uh, headphones. Okay, I'm not using microphone. I'm using the built-in uh, uh, speaker in my laptop, okay? So I will see the, uh, I mean, green bar flash when I talk. You need to see the first before you record, okay? Because uh, sometimes, okay, you don't have the green bar here and then you start recording, okay? I'm afraid you will have no audio with your video lecture, okay? Make sure you have the green bar. If not, just click here and select your microphone, which one you do uh, you use. Okay, for me, I just select default microphone. Okay, so when I select default, you can test. Okay, so if the green bar flash, it means your audio is in here. Okay, if you don't have the green bar, don't record because it will, I mean, your voice will not in the video. Okay, but if you have recorded, Okay, so don't worry. What you need to do, just, I mean, repeat in the editing uh, software. Okay, so in editing software, you can uh, insert or record audio. Okay, so it is not tiring. Okay, sometimes uh, we do, uh, I mean, this is what we call try and error. Okay, so when you use with this, uh, uh, I mean, a software screencast, uh, then you are not going to do any mistake anymore. Okay, so if you have record your video without the green flash bar, so you can uh, record back using the editing uh, tools. Okay, so this is how you are going to record uh, using screencast. Okay, so any question before we start recording? Okay, any question? Uh, out of the three type, only screen, full face or both, which one is better and preferred to be used for teaching and learning? Okay, for teaching and learning, okay, I mean, if you are in a class or you use, uh, I mean, Webex, okay, if you have a high internet, what we use, uh, how are we going to deliver our lecture? Okay. 
So we are delivering our lecture with our face. Okay, and also the slide. If you are in the class, the student will see your face and also the slide. Okay, so it seems like, oh, this is my lecture who give me the lecture, who deliver the, delivering the lecture. Okay, however, there is also a research has been done which the student, okay, uh, I mean, the finding shows that the student said, uh, lecturer face, okay, uh, maksudnya mengganggu lah, okay, mengganggu uh, fokus mereka untuk mendengar. Uh, itu saya tak pasti. I'm afraid the lecturer face is too big. Uh, maybe this will, I mean, uh, give a cognitive overload. You know, cognitive overload mean student have two things they need to, uh, I mean, focus on. The first one is the, uh, you know, the first one is the notes. Another one is the lecture face. Maybe like that. If we are in the classroom, okay, I mean the uh, the student will focus only on the screen. They are not going to focus on us. Okay, so the cognitive overload is not uh, there. Okay, so we don't want to be overload. Okay, however, if you put your face uh, in the small screen like this, I don't think it, it will have a cognitive overload. Okay, but the, the student, okay, we love to see your face. Okay, if you don't want to use it, the whole slide, you might just have uh, your face in the introduction video. Okay, just use an introduction video, okay, where you have your face in the first introduction video. After that, you can just use to record the screen without your face. Okay, however, if you don't have any material to show to your student, you can just record your face. Okay, it seems like the lecturer are the, uh, delivering the lecture in the class. Okay, sometimes we don't have any slides or anything to show to our student in our classroom. Okay, we stand in the front of our classroom and give lecture to our student. Okay, because this is a video lecture okay, to our student. However, if you want to do a micro credential, of course, you need to have uh, your face okay, in the first section introduction. But after that, if you don't want to have your face, it's okay. okay but the, I mean, there is no rule of thumb. Okay? Either you want to put your face or not. However, you can give a survey to your student to ask them okay, how they want our video lecture to be like. Okay, maksudnya macam mana lah to be like what? Okay, for example, our students say, okay, they do, they want our face and also the slide. Okay, mungkin tak jumpa dalam kelas. Okay, they miss us. Okay, so when they see our face, oh, this is my lecture. Okay, if not, we need to go to the class. Uh, uh, it seems like they go to the class when see our video lecture. Okay, you can ask your student. Okay, because your student will will I mean give them whatever needs okay they want to okay and then we have uh webex also have record yes you can use webex but webex is record online okay i'm afraid while you are recording if your internet networking is not very good so it will mean hilang lah okay ataupun you have to do redo back okay so free and easy means we record it uh, offline okay record the record, the recording is the most crucial part. Okay, if you don't record, you don't have the video lecture. Okay, so you can also use Webex. Webex is one of the recording tools that you can use. Okay, no problem because Webex also you will have your faces there. Okay, but sometimes Webex, uh, the, uh, the, after you record, okay, and then when you review back or preview back your video, uh, the, the audio is not very clear. Okay, masuk putus-putus lah because of your internet uh, connection or networking. Okay, your speed is not very high. For example, and then after we preview back, all are putus-putus pula. Okay, tak berapa clear. For example lah, but if you have high internet connection, you don't have problem with your internet connection. I don't think it is a problem if you want to use Webex. Okay, so Webex you can record, but you cannot use uh, your Webex section with your student as video lecture for next semester. That is not video lecture. 
that is video conferencing recording okay don't use your webex uh, for this semester for example or last semester you use webex for your uh, lesson and then you record it and then you send or upload the recording for your webex session with your student last semester to your student this semester in your for example uh, e-learn or you give them a link in the whatsapp okay because you are not you are going to do asynchronous learning okay where you are not going to see them face to face and then you give them the recording last year sorry last semester recording so that is not video lecture that is video conferencing recording okay so it is not video lecture because we have uh, other student face there and so on lah. okay so the video recording must have just you uh, sorry video lecture it is just like you give a lecture in the class where there is only you where the students see you and the slide for example lah. or just see the slide okay or just see you alone stand alone in front of the class okay they don't see uh, many students okay around you while you are going to give your lecture okay but if you do an activity there is a student lah, okay in front of you and so on lah, around you okay so this is uh, zoom also you can use okay so there is a lot of uh, others google meet also you can use as a, a video lecture okay so it, there is a lot okay canva also you can use to record your video lecture okay so this is one of the video lecture that you can use is very i mean user friendly and easy and offline okay you don't need to do it online okay because we're afraid sometimes our line is not i mean too good on that day penat je lah recording kan okay dia tak record ataupun audio is not clear okay so any question Okay, we have a lot of others uh, video recording lah. Okay, so this is uh, your, uh, what we call screencast. Okay, so if you want to use Webex, Zoom, Google Meet, okay, Microsoft Teams, you don't have any problem to do that. Just make sure it is only you giving a lecture okay, to your student. And you don't need to, it is not compulsory for you to have your face, uh, the whole I mean, a uh, 15 minute video. Okay, maybe in front you have your introduction video with your face. After that, okay, you are going to have only screen. Okay, if you use slide. Okay, if you want to show a video, we can use uh, the editing video or you can just insert in the, uh, what we call, slide. Okay, however, if you insert in the slide, okay, I'm afraid it is not uh, very clear. Okay, when you preview back the video. So it's better, okay, if you ask me, I encourage you to use the editing video to insert any video that you want to show to your student. Okay, but the video that you insert in your video lecture, okay, it cannot be other people's video, the whole 15 minutes. Okay, however, if you need the whole 15 minutes with others, uh, I mean the uh, videos they ada lah, okay, so you can use that. Okay, in the YouTube video, if you want to use, I mean, show, uh, do the set induction, okay, for introduction to your student, you want them to watch the video first. After that, you are going to interact with them. You can use that. Okay. However, you can edit. First, you are going to give an introduction. Okay, so this is the video that I want you to watch first. After this, okay, you can uh, give your feedback in our WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay, and then we have, oh, we will have a five minute breaks. Okay, so now we are going to have our five minutes break. Before that, what is the duration? So duration, I mean 15 to 20 minutes. Make it short, okay? Although you have 13 minutes video lecture, you can just make it half 15, 15. Or you have uh, 45 minutes, make it 10, and then another, uh, I mean, 30, uh, sorry, make it 15 and then another uh, 15 minutes, for example, or another 20, uh, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, or you can make 20, uh, 25. Okay, around that, don't more than 30 minutes lah. 
around that. If shorter is better. Okay, you can just make it into chunk. Okay, uh, a small, small video. That is what we call micro credential. Okay, if you give our lecture uh, using Webex for two hours, okay, so you can cut it into a chunk. Okay, make it five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, it's okay. Okay, the student, I mean, don't have any problem with that. Okay, so they can focus on what are the G's that you want to deliver to your student on your content. Okay, so the suitable one is not more than 30 minutes. Okay, make it into chunk. Although you say my lecture must have, uh, must be in one hour. Okay, so you still need to cut it. Okay, because you are the one who know where to cut your video into a small chunk. Okay, unless whatever demonstration that you demonstrate to your student cannot be cut into a chunk, then you need to show it into one hour. But however, we can make it into short, short video. Okay, first you are going to click this one. Next, you are going to click that, this one. And then you are going to draw this line. And then you just stop it. After that, uh, continue with what are the next steps you need to do. Make it into step-by-step -step video, okay? Not the whole, I mean, uh, one hour video, okay? So, and then we have here, last question, before we have a break, we can split the video into topics as well, yes, okay? Maybe short video for each topic, okay? So that, that is right, because you are the designer, okay? Uh, when we, want to record our video lecture, we are the designer. Okay, you can record it uh, according to your topic. Maybe your topic have a small or introduction, five minute introduction. Okay, and then the second topic, just 15 minutes, just like in class. For example, when you go to your classroom, okay, how many minutes do you talk with your student? How many minutes do you, sorry, give a lecture to your student? Sometimes we have two hours class or one hour class. We just have our lecture in, 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, what we do with our student? We have a Q&A session. Okay. And then we continue back our lecture. Okay. So you can just imagine what you've done in your class. Okay. If you've done in your class two-hour lecture, I guarantee 100% your student will be boring. Okay. So because you have a big class, big uh, student yang ramai lah. Okay. A big lecture hall. Okay, you still can do activity of student. Okay, although you have a big lecture hall lecture. Okay, so now we are going to have online. So what you need to do, you can make it into chunk. Each of every video, you can do the activity. After activity or after the task they need to complete, they can continue with the next video. Or you can gamify your asynchronous learning. Gamify means this is a challenge. You need to uh, watch the video, complete the activity, challenge one. After they complete challenge one, they can go to the next challenge. That is, watch the video, complete the activities. Okay, so we can do it. Uh, I mean, synchronous. Okay, we don't have any problem to synchronous our learning. Okay, because sometimes I give my student, uh, I mean, my video lecture during the class in the WhatsApp. Okay, I post my link in the WhatsApp group. Okay, for example, my class is 9 to 10. Okay, so the link of my video lecture will be, uh, I will post in the 9, 9 p.m. Sorry, 9 a.m. Okay, 9 morning. And then the student will watch the video. It is just 10 minute video. After 10 minutes, then I will discuss with them through WhatsApp. Okay, and then after we have all the discussion, all the students are participate, I will take attendance with their participation. Then I'll post another video with just 10 minute lecture. Okay, and then we have the discussion. And then we complete our synchronous learning using WhatsApp. Okay, so we are not using WebEx because my student will have problem and, and off. Okay, they will not gain nothing lah on that lesson. Okay. Okay, and then we have. I want to write on screen explanation purpose. What is that? okay? What well, if you want to write? Okay, what is the best uh, approach? Okay, you can use uh, a tablet because a screencast we can 
uh, I mean, install it into your tablet, or you can use a uh, writing pad. Okay, so you can use writing pad, and then you can use a, a whiteboard lah. Okay, for example here, I also sometimes use writing pad. Okay, so I have the whiteboard. Okay. Oh, exactly. Okay. And then you can use the, this is the board. Uh, so this is the board. Okay. So I will go into this screen. Okay. Or you can use PowerPoint to write. Okay. But you need to have writing pad. Nah. Okay. And then we have pen. So I will draw. Okay. Two plus one. Okay, equal to, so for example, lah, okay. So whatever you want to write, you can write this. I'm using mouse, okay. So if you have writing pad, you can write it here. Okay, whatever you want to show, but you need to make sure you start recording and then, okay, you can write and talk. Okay, so this is a whiteboard with your face here. Okay, if you don't want your face, just a screen. Okay, so you will write. And then and give lecture. Okay, this is I'm using mouse. Okay, or you can type. Okay, uh, using a text. Okay, while you are talking to your student, type. Okay, okay, my name is TCT Zuraida, for example. Okay, you can type also. Okay, it's up to you. If you have formula, okay, you can use pen. Okay, while recording. Okay, and then you can preview back. Okay, when I have done, just now record, I will show you after this. Okay, so this is the best approach lah for you to. Uh, okay, so this is the best approach. Okay, so this is how you are going to, uh, I mean, uh, record your uh, video lecture using a whiteboard. Okay, using a uh, writing pen and so on lah. Okay. Okay, so uh, now we have 10, 10 a.m. So we are going to have a uh, five minutes break. Okay, so we will start at 10, 15 a.m. Okay, so we will have five minutes break and start at 15, uh, 10, 15. Okay, so thank you so much everyone. We'll see after this.
uh, okay everyone we can continue back our screencast okay so as i stopped just now on the frame and then uh, how you are going to record now we are going to start recording where you just uh, press uh, click on recording button here okay so this is the recording button just click record so we will have countdown here okay countdown time where we have three seconds okay so you can prepare uh, i mean you can prepare and then you can uh, record okay in three seconds okay so they will have a countdown time there okay so you just click and then we have three seconds for you to record so you can start recording your uh, uh, whatever lecture or you want to record after that after you finish or you want to stop for a while okay for example you want to stop pause just click back the recording button this is pause okay you are pausing your lecture okay you want to drink a water and then after that you want to continue your recording click back the recording button here okay then continue your recording okay continue your recording okay and then you want to pause just pause it and then click back recording button if you want to record okay so now i want to show you the button here okay so this is a pause and record button okay wherever you want to stop okay for example your children call you uh, just click pause and then you entertain whatever your children want and then click what click back the recording button and you can continue recording okay and then okay this is the time duration here as you can see here we have time here okay so time here is okay you click back record we have this is the limit 15 minutes okay on the left bottom here we have the limit here is 15 minutes okay so this is the duration of your recording 50 second 51 second okay so you need to alert with this one okay the move i mean timer here the time here that okay here you can see one minute okay make sure it is not more than 15 minutes okay the screencast won't stop for you okay you are going to record record until 30 minutes but the screencast will save the recording for only 15 minutes okay so you are you need to alert with this time okay so just look at the time and also the a limit time here 15 minutes okay before 15 minutes okay, make sure you click stop here okay if not penat lah record kan okay kita record record and then tidak di uh, simpan it not save in the screencast okay just alert with the time 15 minutes okay and then we will continue okay kalau lah if you want to have more lecture for example, if you stop before 15 minutes, it seems like something hanging. Your lecture is hanging. Don't worry. We have the editing software. You can edit. I mean, you can just cut into five minutes and then you can combine the video, make it into 10 minutes, for example, or 15 minutes. Okay. Because, for example, your lecture around just five minutes. Okay. Okay, but this one in 15 minutes. So 15 minutes, it will stop. So another five minutes, you need to record again, the new one. And then use the editing and we can combine. Okay, so this is very, I mean, if you uh, make use with this uh, screencast, okay, just, uh, I mean, around one hour, you can complete your 15 minutes video. Okay, it's very user-friendly and easy. Okay, and then after you finish recording, okay, this is a delete button. Don't click delete. Start over again. Okay, or you can preview here. Click play. Before you click done, you want to preview back. Just click preview. Uh, so preview. Okay, so you can preview. 
Okay. Oh, you uh, if you want to preview to make sure that your face is here, your slide is clear, and your audio, your voice is clear. Okay. After you hear oh, everything clear. Okay. If you have mistake, it's okay. We have editing tools. We can edit. Okay. So click done. Okay. When you click done. Okay, edit video, blur, at text. This one, you need to subscribe. Okay? But this one, the free version. You click save and upload. Okay? You can upload to YouTube, Google Drive, and so on. Okay? But the simple one that I use every day, and it is, I mean, much more faster. Okay? Just click save as MP4. It is much more faster. Okay? But if you click upload to YouTube, you need to uh, launch a web record, a web browser and wait for the YouTube account okay, to appear and so on. Takes time. Okay. But I don't know if you can uh, make it upload to YouTube, you can just try it. But for me, this is the fastest way. Okay. So just click save as. And then you can, this is MP4. Okay. MP4 is the a compatible uh, format of video to all device okay and then we have recording name you can just uh, edit the name okay so this is the intro video for example folder where you want to i mean uh, save your video okay so i just click uh, desktop for example okay and then okay and then you click publish okay desktop and then publish so this is the simplest way lah for you to uh, do or record your video using screencast okay as for me this is the fastest way lah okay offline okay this is not online offline okay sometimes we don't have internet networking or connection in our i mean uh, place okay so we can record offline and then come to the office and upload everything online okay so you will have the MP4 uh, format video for your video lecture using screencast. Okay, it is same also if you are using your mobile phone. Okay, so mobile phone, it is very clear and very user friendly. Okay, so you can just click on the mobile, your smartphone. Okay, the apps. Okay, and then you can uh, click, a uh, uh, sorry, click on the record. Or if you have anything to show to the students, just click that, photos, and then click record. You will record your screen. Okay, and then click done. Okay, after you click done, you will have your recording here. Okay. So you click done. And then you will have your recording. So this is my recording just now. Okay. So you can see this is MP4. Okay, so this is a very clear voice, and then the, I mean, the word here is clear and so on. Okay, okay, and then, sorry. Okay, how to add use teleprompter while doing video recording? Okay, if you if you want to do a use teleprompter, okay. Teleprompter, you need to have the teleprompter, what we call, a device. Okay. If you have teleprompter device, and then you can, I mean, connect with your laptops and do your recording. Okay. And see the teleprompter. If teleprompter, you already have the, what we call, uh, all the writing over there. Okay. It is just the same with while you are using a screen cast. Okay, teleprompter, if you want to use a green screen, okay, and then you want to edit, make it into your, uh, what we call, uh, slide, okay. However, if you want to do just screencast, okay, with your face here, it's okay. But if you want to do a green screen, you need to have a teleprompter so that you can, I mean, give lecture without seeing the slide, okay. But if you do screen screencast, you can see the slide here. So I think we don't need teleprompter if you are doing a screencast, okay? But if you want a green screen, okay, you need a teleprompter, okay? So that your script will be, I mean, moving, 
while you are talking. Okay, so we have the equipment. Okay, uh, I'm not used to, I mean, uh, the installation of the equipment, but I have done uh, using a teleprompter before with a green screen bag. Okay, for a green screen, uh, I mean, a video. Okay, so that is uh, in my past institution uh, for our uh, video. Uh, it is not for video lecture. It is for our, uh, what we call, uh, polytechnic uh, video. Okay, that we need to do uh, what we call a corporate video and so on. Uh. Okay, so that we need to have a green screen and a teleprompter. But for this uh, screencast, okay, I don't think we need a teleprompter. Okay. So maybe uh, Encik Sawan have the answer because we have a teleprompter at uh, what we call uh, CDE. Okay, uh, so uh, yeah, similar with a cue card. Okay, visual text and speech, uh, script, your script. Okay, it is not your slide. Okay, will be appear there. Okay, so uh, you can go to uh, CDE. Okay, we have a uh, lot of other equipment there that we can use. Okay, lighting board. Okay, we have a green screen and so on. Okay, uh, at our School of Educational Studies, we also are going to set up a micro credential uh, room where we will have all that equipment, uh, the teleprompter, green screen, and so on. Okay, but we are still, I mean, uh, set up the room. Okay, we don't have the equipment yet. Okay, so this is uh, a screencast automatic. Okay, for you to record. Okay, now we are going to have uh, recording. Okay, so what are you going to record here? Okay, maybe you can record. Okay, we take a while, a time for you to record. Okay, we can record a profile introduction video. For example, you are going to have a lots of other video lecture. You can record your profile introduction to introduce yourself. Okay. Hi everyone. Okay, my name is Siti Zraida and so on. Lah. Okay. Yeah. So you can record your intro profile introduction video. Okay. So just record one profile introduction. You can use two others video lecture in the introduction video about yourself. The student need to know you. Okay, because we cannot see our student face to face. Okay, so you can just record your profile introduction. Okay, for today. Just around two to two minutes, less than two minutes. Okay, one minute introduction video about yourself. Okay, and then you also can record or okay, if you don't want to record a fifteen minutes video, you want to try for a profile introduction. You can try a profile introduction, and then we have introduction a video lecture, a synopsis. Okay, so you can use that one, uh, one video. Okay, so we have. This one around one minute. Okay, and then introduction video about the topic. Okay, another introduction video about the topic. Okay, a synopsis of the topic or the lesson or the whole semester synopsis. Okay, it's up to you, your introduction video. Either this is your first semester, you can use this video on your next semester. Okay, you have your profile introduction, you have your synopsis of your uh, mean course, okay, or you can just record a synopsis on each topic on every week that you want to record, okay, around maybe two minutes, okay, two to three minutes, okay, or just one minute, it's up to you, okay, you can design this, okay, this is your, I mean, uh, video lecture, and then you have to have a set induction or introduction, okay, you want to I mean, give an overview to our student or we want our student to think, okay, of the image that we show to them, okay, before they, I mean, we start our lesson, okay, we want to know their material knowledge, their skills, okay, so we give them uh, an image or a video that available in YouTube so they can watch the video in YouTube, okay, and then they can give their I mean, uh, this, we can do discussion around, okay, the site induction video is something one to two minutes only. And then you will have a session of discussion with your student. Okay, and then your first topic video. 
Okay, so this is where you want to do a 15 minutes minimum and maximum. Okay, 15 to 30 minutes. Make it 15. Lah. Okay, you can uh, make it into chunk into a topic by each subtopic. Okay, so you need to design it. Or you can just record one hour. After that, we can cut that. Okay, so it's up to you. You can record 15 minutes, 15 minutes using screencast. Okay, so what are the advantage of screencast? Because it limit our lecture. If not, we are keep talking. Okay, until we want to stop. Okay, so because we are a lecture, we always give lecture to our student. Okay, so this is a 15 minutes video. The okay, student will focus only, okay, around 5 to 10 minutes, okay. But if something is very important, they will focus around 15 minutes, okay. So, you are going to decide it, okay. So, you are going to record. Maybe we can just do a short profile introduction first, okay. After this, maybe you can just uh, go to into others. If you have your profile introduction, you can do a video lecture on the topic or the synopsis of the uh, course, okay? So this is the introduction and there's an induction or first topic video, okay? If you, you have your slides, you can do in a slide, okay? If you want to just uh, your face and a background, okay? So I will off the video first. Okay, I will see here which are the background that I want to use, okay? Just go here. Okay, with a music. Okay, I will background music video. Background. Okay, music. Okay, for presentation. Okay, so this is a royalty. We have the videos here. Okay, we have the background music here. Okay, if you want to use the background music, but if you want to do micro credential, Okay, you need to uh, make sure it is, uh, I mean, we don't have, it is free. Okay, but if in your class, it is okay. Okay, because for your, this is not for, I mean, commercialized. Okay, so you can use if in your class. But if it, uh, for micro credential, you need to have background music presentation free. Okay, no copyright. Uh, just click that. Uh, so this is no copyright background music. Okay, so you can use it. Okay, royalty free background music. Okay, so we just click and then we can have the music here. Or we want to use the background. Okay. So they, they have, I mean, the uh, word here, so we cannot use it. Maybe you can use the audio here. Okay, the audio you can use this one. Uh, just go to Google and then type uh, convert. YouTube to MP3. Sorry, MP3. Okay, this is for audio. Audio cannot be MP4, must be in MP3 format. Audio is just the background music. Okay, so just click, uh, type convert YouTube to MP3. Okay. Okay, so you have YouTube to MP3 converter. Just click this here. Okay, then insert the uh, video. Okay. Copy the link. And then we will have the convert into MP3. Okay, so it is converting. Uh, so now you can download. Okay, for audio, you need to have a MP3 format. So we can, uh, I mean, uh, use the audio in the editing software. Okay, so click download. So download now. Okay. You need to sign up. So here, download here. Okay, just click download. Here is, we have here, this is, okay, so no copyright MP3 already in my, uh, I mean, download folder. 
Okay, so I have the MP3 here. So I'm open with uh, Windows Media Player. So I will have the just an audio. Okay, so without any, uh, I mean, uh, image. Okay, just audio. Okay, without any video. So you need to convert if you want to have the music background. Okay, and then if you want to use the background for your, uh, I mean, so you want to use this background. Just go here, okay, and then you can, I mean, what we call, edit here, okay, adjust your frame here, okay, and then we will have, this is the background, okay, and then I will record my face only, okay, so, no, sorry, both, okay, both I make it in the center, so I have the background. Okay, and then I want to record. Just click record. Don't forget to click play. For the play one, okay, wait, wait. you need to adjust so that you can record play button. Or you can play first. Okay. Okay, after you play, you will have can record. Okay. Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Dr. Stizraga Manosman from School of Educational Studies. So you are going to learn with me uh, on the topic, uh, sorry, on the course of PGT 436E. Oh, so I think I made a mistake just now. So I think, so you need to pause. Okay, so you are going to learn with me uh, PGT 436E course, okay, where we are going to have 14 weeks of uh, teaching and learning session okay so this that is how you are going to i mean record your video if you make a mistake just pause and then continue okay continue at, after you finish okay until you finish okay so you can just uh, record now okay so i will give around 10 minutes okay for you to record a very simple i need to okay. A very simple and short uh, introduction video about yourself. Okay, if you are using your phone, you can use your phone to record. Okay, uh, your screencast automatic. Or if you don't have a screencast automatic, okay, what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, just record video using your phone. Okay, go to your phone and then click video and record the video of yourself. After this, we are going to this we are going to do editing. Okay, so don't worry. Just record your video. Okay, so now we are going to have here. Okay, for example. Okay, uh, okay this is an example of okay recording using phone. Okay. So this is the phone. I'm using phone to record this. So this is I'm using phone. Okay, on uh, recording about introduction of myself. Okay, so using your phone, go to uh, the video. Okay, and then record without a screencast. Okay, this is a simple one. You can use your phone to record, okay? While you are driving, okay, you want to record, you can record it, okay? And after that, we are going to uh, do editing, okay? So you can record using your phone, and then you can, I mean, uh, download or masukkan dalam upload, sorry, download, upload in your laptop lah, okay? Or you can use after this skinny master to edit your video. Okay, so this is an introduction video. Okay, so around 10 minutes for you to record. A simple introduction about yourself. I mean, a general introduction. Lah. Okay, not uh, every topic. So, for example, you are going to learn with me. I'm a lecturer of a PGT 436E, okay, ICT in Education, and also PLG 725, okay, uh, Instructional Design Strategies. Okay, so you just... Uh, I mean, introduce about yourself, 
okay what are the topic or the course that you are teaching okay so they know you okay on the uh, in the i mean on the first uh, video they will know oh this is my lecturer so you, you will have another co-lecturer that is who then you will have the co-lecturer picture we will edit that okay so this is your co-lecture okay for example my co-lecture is dr siti mastura so i will have uh, his um, uh, her image okay and that we edit in the video okay so uh, just an image of the co-lecturer so they know the co-lecturer who is the co-lecturer okay so after uh, mid-term break okay you will continue your lesson now uh, that is introduction about the course or the topic lah. okay uh, so that is the second video if you want to do that video introduction about the course or topic so in pgt 436e we are going to learn about uh, what okay uh, what are the tools okay the models the instructional strategies that you are going to use okay in your teaching okay and learning okay what are the material you, you are going to create for your teaching yeah okay, e-portfolio we are going to learn about that okay so that is the introduction about your topic okay, sorry your course okay so you can just record with your phone okay about uh, your staff introduction okay and then after you record just click save okay if you record with your screencast okay if you have your slide with you okay you can record your slide okay uh, because screencast we can record a slide okay however if you uh, don't want you to <coughs> Don't want to use a screencast you can record your lecture with your phone like this okay let me make it done okay so you can record a video lecture with your phone like this just your face okay because after this we are going to edit Okay, don't worry, we are going to edit about it. Okay, so I think all of you have uh, done your video. Okay, a simple, short and sweet video about yourself. Okay, uh, you can also uh, record your 15-minute lecture okay, with this video or you can record a whole one-hour lecture video. Okay, just your face. After that, we are going to edit it. Okay, so editing uh, is the most I mean, a part that all of us okay, don't want to do editing. You need to take time to edit. Okay, so this is where uh, okay, you can change. We have the chat here. Can we change? Oh, no, the size of webcam you cannot change in a screencast. Okay, it is not so big. Okay. But we will do editing, okay? If you use screencast, the whole face. If you use both, you cannot edit that one, okay? For screencast, if we just record webcam, our face here, okay? So you cannot, I mean, this webcam, you cannot adjust the frame, okay? Just this, this is the webcam, okay? If you want to make it I mean, longer, you have to move back. So it will make yourself, I mean, half of your body will show in the screen. Okay, and you can show your hand gesture to your student. Okay, make sure you are in, I mean, you have a loud voice so that student can hear your voice okay, with your hand gesture. Okay, or you can make it more, I mean, a long shot of your video. Okay, zoom zoom out lah. okay zoom out your video means you have to move back your laptop okay and you can stand up and it's up to you lah how you are going to record your video okay you can show half of your video but you need to have a live a loud voice or you can just buy a clip microphone okay it is not too expensive lah okay clip microphone okay, i think i have here the clip microphone I bring it or not. 
Okay, so click microphone, something that is very useful. Okay, for you to, I mean, apa, record. Okay, if you want to zoom out your video or uh, move uh, your video further back, okay, so that you can see, your student can see your, uh, I mean, uh, half of your body. So you want to show to them your hands gesture, your body language and so on. Okay, not just only your face. So you can do that. Okay, so this is one of the uh, clip lah that can use and then you just clip. Okay, and you can talk it. Okay, you can talk about your lecture lah. Okay, just it is not too expensive lah. Okay, you buy in the Shopee, uh, it is less, more or less. Okay, then you buy okay, at the shopping mall and or at the accessories shop. Okay, so this is how you are going to record. This is, but you can edit the frame. Okay, the frame of this recording in the editing software. Okay, so this frame can be edit, can be, I mean, crop. Okay, you also can enlarge or resize the uh, screen just for webcam. But for both, if you record both, Okay, with your, I mean, I need to stop, I already stop. Okay, this is where I can both. Uh, so both, you have your face here. Uh, this one you cannot edit. Okay, the screen of your webcam. You cannot edit this one. Okay, in the editing. Okay, so this one you can just edit if you want to make transition or you want to blur up your face, or you want to, sorry, uh, or you want to, I mean, uh, trim or uh, remove out the clip that you make mistake. Uh, so this one, you can just edit that. Okay, but you cannot edit the webcam, uh, sorry, webcam uh, frame here. Okay. Okay, and then do you have any Question. Okay, I think uh, all of you have tried to record. Okay, just a simple introduction about yourself. Okay, one minute is okay. If you want to have uh, an audio, you can just go to uh, YouTube, get a free copyright. Okay, and then you can uh, convert into MP3. Okay, not MP4, MP3, and then download it. Okay, you can have your background music while you are introducing about yourself. Okay. Okay, so that is how you are going to. Okay, and then another one uh, I have here. Okay, I want to show you about. Okay, this is a whiteboard, okay, free whiteboard presentation assistant, which I, uh, I mean, download. Okay, and then you can use the whiteboard, okay, to draw or to. I mean, show the formula or the, I mean, kita kata, uh, dia punya solution, okay, of the mathematics, uh, I mean, uh, question, okay, and then you can show to them step by step on how to illustrate something, graph, for example, okay, uh, so that is how you are going to use a presentation system, it is free, okay, or you can just type Google, free whiteboard software. Okay, uh, so everything we can ask Google right now. Google are providing us with free, uh, free for software. Okay, so free whiteboard software for teaching. Uh, we have lots here. Okay, online whiteboard. Uh, this is online whiteboard. Uh, interactive whiteboard apps. Okay, for school, but we need uh, what we call uh, a free whiteboard. Uh, online whiteboard for teachers. So you can also use online whiteboard. Okay, and then you can uh, use the online whiteboard with your screencast. Or you can install like what I did. That is a presentation assistant whiteboard. Okay, just uh, go to Google. Okay, I will give you the link in the chat box. If you want the whiteboard. Okay, so we have chat box. 
you get lots of other whiteboard that you will have in i mean in the google you list out all the whiteboard okay okay now uh, i think all of you have done your short profile about yourself okay and then we have another one ah Cik Sawan already posted a whiteboard.fi. So this is also another one of the software that you can use, okay, to teach while you are drawing, okay, or you can use, uh, I mean, iPad, okay, to draw or to show your student the formula and so on, lah. okay. So we try to, I mean, uh, do just one uh, video first using the tools because uh, just now I see most of you are not I mean, uh, familiar with the screencast-o-matic, but once you're familiar, okay, you want to do it every, every time you, want, you have a lecture. So in the lecture time, you can do activities with your student without any lecture anymore. Your student can repeat, repeat again your lecture so many times. Okay, so class time, you still have class. It is not something where you give a lecture, video lecture to your student, you don't have your class time. Okay, no, students still need to do activities during the class time. Give them tasks, give them activities, make them do whatever they have watched the video lecture that you post to them. Okay, okay, next, uh, okay, we are going to, I mean, all of you have done your video. It's okay if you have any mistake in your video, no problem. Okay, we will edit after this. Okay, if you don't have music, you want to edit music, you can put in music or you can have text. You can edit text in your profile introduction okay, with the editing. Okay. So first, uh, another one. Okay. After you have, uh, I mean, uh, save your recording. Okay. For example, just now, this is my recording. Okay. I have saved my recording here, which I have mistake in my recording also. Okay, another one for you to do is, after this, we are going to have uh, YouTube Studio. Okay, so in order for you to use a YouTube Studio, you need to upload okay, your recording into your YouTube. Okay, for you to have the YouTube Studio, you need to have a Gmail account. I think everybody have Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, you can create a Gmail account, which is free. Okay. And it is simple, uh, I mean, uh, simple uh, steps on how to you want to create a Gmail account. Once you have your Gmail account, you will have your YouTube channel. Okay, for example, okay, this is my YouTube channel. Okay, Gmail, just use your Gmail account. Okay, you, you will have your YouTube channel. And then you will have here, okay, at the top of your uh, Gmail, or you can just type YouTube, okay, and then YouTube.com click YouTube. Okay, when you click your YouTube, just go to. Uh, let me sign out. This is not my channel. Okay, and then we have sign in here. Okay, just click sign in. Okay, sign in into your Gmail. Your password, Gmail password. If you forget or forgot, you need to, I mean, sign up again. Lah. Okay, it must be Gmail. Okay, other Gmail you cannot use. Okay, and then this is very simple and easy. Okay, Gmail. Then you can go to your video or you can click here on the top of your uh, YouTube, okay, you will have here the camera and plus create. So click create, upload video. Okay, create and upload video. Uh, this is where you upload your video. Okay, or drag and drop. Okay, or you can select file. You go to select file. And then desktop just now I save my video. Okay, uh, recording 49. Drag and drop. 
Okay. So, I will have my video recording here. Okay, title is Profile Intro Action. My profile. Okay. So, if you have description to your viewer, you can just click here. Okay. And then, uh, playlist, if you want to add in playlist, but we don't want to add any, any playlist. Audience, you need to click here. No, it is not made for kids. Okay. This is simple. Huh? Just, I uh, mean, title, description, if you have. And then, no, it is not made for kids. And then, next. Okay. And then, next. Okay. And then, next. Okay, so this is where you need to unlist it or make it public. I want to make it public. Okay, public, everyone can see my video. But you don't worry. Your video is not going to viral the whole world. Okay, because our video will be the last uh, uh, million of others' video. Unless when you type your name, uh, there will be your video here. Okay, so no worries. This is just our profile, general profile. Okay. However, if you want to make it private, nobody can see your video. If you share the link, they also cannot view your video. Share privately, you will add or email them. Okay. Unlisted, anyone who have the link can see your video. Okay. So, public is okay. I'm not famous. So, we can make it public. This is your video link. You will have your video link and publish. Okay, so whoever has done your screencast, publish your video in your YouTube and then close. Okay, so here is my profile introduction. So I have my video here in my channel content. Okay, so this is uh, YouTube. If you use your phone, Okay, it's also the same. You can just open your video, sorry, your YouTube and upload your video from your uh, gallery. Okay, and then you can have your channel then. Okay, but you need to have the apps. I mean, apps, uh, apps for YouTube in your uh, handphone. Okay, go to your Google Play or App Store, type YouTube. Okay, and then you can download the apps. Okay, and then you can add your content in the uh, download. Okay, so mine is going to connect to my phone. So that is if you are using handphone. Okay, this is how you are going to use your, what we call, uh, laptop or desktop. Lah. Okay, do you have any problem to upload in the YouTube, uh, your YouTube channel? Okay, so this is your channel. This is your name. Okay, so if your student view more, okay, so you are going to have more views. Okay, for example, my second video here, this is my lecture video. So the view is 236. Okay, only for, for the first class. But if I teach for another 10 years, if the content is still the same because this is like a history of education, philosophy of education, I don't think we have uh, any apa, adjustment on the philosophy of education. Then I can use this video okay, to teach okay, this topic to my student for the next five years. So the viewers will increase. Okay, so you can see the view here. Okay, so this is why everybody want to be a YouTuber. Okay, because you need to have uh, thousands of viewers, then you can be. Google will send you a check of money. Okay. Uh, so you can use your channel. Okay. I mean, to share your knowledge. Lah. We are not going to be a YouTuber. Okay. Share your knowledge. It is a lifelong sharing. Okay. So you will have, I mean, this video <laughs> will appear in your YouTube channel. Okay. Until the end of our life. Okay. If you are not here anymore okay people still can watch our lecture okay so make your 
title uh, I mean accessible or the keyword of your title because when people want to search for something they will type the keyword in the Google okay so the keyword of your title is the important okay if you for your topic so that when they type the keyword uh, your video will be there but if your keyword there is a million of videos there because your viewers is not i mean uh, more than other people viewers so your video will be the last okay the first vi uh, video will be the um, uh, i mean the large they have the large viewer okay many viewers to view their videos so that's why keyword is the important okay and they still search for your uh, i mean video lecture okay and sometimes uh, as you can see okay for my subject there is also a video lecture that is not i mean uh, so very clear okay however the content that he deliver is very I mean, useful okay or people want to know the content okay not the voice the audio and so on lah. okay the, the audio is clear okay but they have a lots of macam-macam uh, bunyi lah okay it is not something a very high quality video however the viewers is million viewers okay so however we want to share our knowledge that is the most important what we want to do in our youtube channel okay uh, and then we have uh, we limit our viewers to our student uh, yeah you can just i uh, mean not in public lah okay so just give an, uh, create unlisted your student who want the one who only have the link but i do uh, if your student viral your link of your video lecture because i mean uh, another class want your video lecture or another university Okay, they have friends from other university. Okay, and your students say my lecture very good. Okay, the content is very clear. Video lecture is easy to easy to understand. Okay, so they will pass the link to their friends in other university. Okay, so that is unlisted. The link okay can be passed to others, but if you click private, you need to share privately. Okay, invite via email. Okay, so you need to, I mean, give emails. Just uh, people or stu your student emails here, okay, can open it. But they need Gmail account. Okay, YouTube is a Gmail account. Okay, so you need to give a Gmail account. Student need to give Gmail account and you can, can invite them. So only your student can, I mean, open your video. Okay, okay. So that is uh, how you want to share. Okay, next open shot. Okay, for open shot, okay, we need to edit. Okay, for open shot, this is the installation. Okay, so I will give you the link in the chat box, so you can go to your chat box. Okay, so this is the link. Okay, so this is a web page. Okay. okay, now you can install it. Okay, so install your uh, open shot. Okay, download. Okay, just click download. Uh, for open shot available, download. Okay, OX window. Okay, so you can also click here for MacBook. Okay, for Mac, for Apple, just click here. You can download OS. Okay, but you need to have OS 10.9 plus. If your OS less than this, you cannot download. It is not compatible. Okay, so if you have Windows, just click here. And then, so the installer will be in your download folder. Okay, so this is the installer. Okay. So to install the open shot is also uh, same as others. You okay, just click next, 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 and then finish. Okay, and make sure you have a desktop uh, shortcut. Okay, so that you can click in your desktop. Okay, after finish downloading, okay, and then we can 
just open it. Okay, and install. Okay. Open and install. Okay, so I just, uh, just click yes because you want to, I mean, apa, make change in your device. And now you can just click OK. Okay, and then accept the agreement. Next, and then next, install. Okay, and then finish. Okay, because I already installed it. So it is in my desktop. Okay. So this is how you want to install your open shot. Okay. So after you install, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Your open shot icon will be like this. Lah. Okay. Open shot video editor. Okay. Open shot video editor. Okay. So this is the, I mean, icon of your open shot. Okay. So open shot video editor. Okay. You can open the uh, uh, the software. Okay. Open the software. Now I need to new project. Okay, so this is the uh, dashboard of your uh, open shot editor software. Okay, so you will have this. Okay, this is a project file. Okay, we have transition and effects. Okay, so everyone should have this desktop. Lah. Okay, if you have this effect, sometimes transition will appear. This is project file. Okay, so this is for open shot. Okay, it is free, <coughs> user-friendly, and create interactive video, which only have transition and effects. We don't have insert text, okay, but you have insert audio. Okay, offline. This is the great about this, offline. You can trim or you can split. You can cut. You remove the video that you make a mistake. And then insert a video, okay. Do you have any uh, YouTube video that you want to use to insert in your lesson? You can insert and then you can insert image, audio, okay, effects and transition. Okay, so this is a video editing function for OpenShot. Okay, so because you already have the text and so on, you don't want to have the text. Just transition and effects on the, uh, what we call, uh, slide. Okay, or video, sorry, yeah. you already have your video, you want to edit here. Okay, uh, we also have others, okay, uh, video editing uh, software. Okay, you can also uh, record and uh, edit at the same time, okay, but you need to subscribe to have more function. Okay, sometimes the free trial is just uh, cut. Okay, and then we have uh, image insert, cut and insert, for example. Lah. Okay, for others, you need to buy the yeah, others function. But this one is very, I mean, user-friendly and easy for a simple 15-minute uh, video. Okay, so you can edit using uh, OpenShot. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do, okay, just insert all your file here. Okay, insert your file. So we have new project if you want to do new project. And then we have here, you can open if you already, uh, I mean, save your project before. But now you, if you the first time, okay. And then we have uh, undo, redo, this one, the plus button, uh, import file. Now you can import your file where you put your video just now and audio. So I will insert my video. Okay, and my audio. If you want, I want audio lah. Okay, so I also want to insert my, uh, I mean, image and so on. So you can choose your image, your video, whatever. Insert in project file. Click project file here. Okay, and then it will show all. Or you can click video, audio and image. Okay, 
So project file, plus button, insert all your material here. Okay, so we will uh, stop okay, for a short break, five minutes break. Okay, you can insert your uh, apa nama? file here. Okay, and then we will see on, uh, we come back at 11.16. Okay, 11.16. Okay, I will answer the question after this. Okay, so 11.16. Is there a limit size length or no? Okay, you don't have any limit. You can just, I mean, uh, insert all the video that you have recording, although it is two hours. Okay, it also can be here. Okay, no limit.
Okay, hi everyone. We're back here. Yeah. So uh, I think all of you have uh, insert at your video. Okay, so if you have more videos, so put it here, more videos here. Okay, and then we have a uh, what we call the audio, the music background. Okay, MP3 must be in MP3. Okay, if you click audio, we'll have the audio file. If you click a video, you will have a video file. Image, this is the image. This is show all. Okay. So this is how you want to create. Okay, for open shot, okay, you can uh, remove uh, your background. Okay, it is not only green screen, but also other screen that have, I mean, the color is solid color and one color. Okay, for example, I have here, okay, a white background and green background. Okay, you cannot have, uh, I mean, corak-corak uh, tu lah. Okay, a picture background around you cannot have. Okay, you need to have a solid uh, color of background. Okay, if black, you have we have black color. Okay, but black, you need to make sure your dress is not black. Okay, I'm afraid our eyeball is black. Okay, so it will remove the color. Make sure the color uh, you don't have in your body lah. I mean, if you wear your tudung, so make sure the tudung. I uh, have a contrast color, okay? Uh, or don't make a brown color if your uh, face color is a brown color, okay? So make color that contrast with yourself, okay? So that you can remove any color. It is not only green skin, uh, sorry, green screen, okay? Other color also can be removed, okay, in the open shot as a background, okay? Go to your, I uh, mean, a dinding, dinding yang warna solid. Okay, white color must be white, solid white. Okay, you don't have any uh, corak dan sebagainya lah. Okay, so and then we have here transition and effects. Project file. Okay, now we have track. You can see track here. Track 5, 4, 3. Okay, you can scroll down. You have track 2 and track 1. Okay, so this is your track. Okay, track means you want to, uh, which one will be uh, the first layer, layer, okay. So, for example, I want my video to be the first layer, okay. So, I will put it in track 5, okay, will be the first layer. So, for, you just click and drag here, okay. And you can remove in your timeline, okay. Everyone should have the timeline lah. Okay, so this is a white background, for example. Okay, so my video will be the first layer. So I put in a track five. And then I want the image. Okay, I have image here, one image. Okay, image is my second layer. Okay, a back layer lah, the back one. So I put it below the first layer. Okay, below the first layer. So this will be below the first layer. Okay, because my face is uh, so big here, so we cannot see the image behind my video. This will be behind. Okay, the third track will be uh, the audio. Okay, I want to put in audio here. So this is the audio lah. I mean the music background. Okay, so this is the layer. Okay, layer five is the last one. So this will be the first layer and then this will be the back layer of your first layer. Okay. Uh, so this is how you want to, uh, I mean, drag and drop into your timeline. Drag, drop. Okay. Just drag and drop. After you just uh, slot in everything here. Okay. And then you can, okay, this is, I show you the, how to remove the background over here. So this is a white screen, okay? So if you want to remove, so now you need to adjust the video screen. If for example, this is what I record from my webcam, okay? So I want to adjust here. You need to active the uh, video, uh, I mean icon here, okay? Activate here. If you activate here, if you active the video, it will have a red line here, okay? Red line. 
So this is a red line. Okay. So red line, it means the video is active. Okay. So five layer and you can add layer here. Add track lah. Okay. There we have five layer, but you can add. So this, we have add track. You can add as many as you want lah. Okay. Uh, you can add your track. It's not only five lah. Okay. So we have here uh, my videos. So I need to adjust the frame of my video. Okay, so this is the frame. So I go to, okay, you can go to the, I mean your left hand side here, you have the uh, properties. Okay, so this is properties. Okay, properties of your video because you activate your video. Okay, and then you can crop. Crop means you want to crop just your face. You can move or slide the bar here. Crop X. Okay. So this is zero. I don't want to crop because I think it's okay. But if you want to crop, you can crop X. Crop X means you will crop okay, up and down. Okay. Where you want to crop your uh, I mean, uh, video. Okay. Crop means they will remove uh, whatever you have. Uh, move lah. Okay. And then crop Y, left and right. You can just slide the bar here. Left and right. Now, this one I don't want okay, to crop because I think it's okay. Now, if you want to crop, you can crop it. Okay, make it go to here and then you can crop. Okay, you can adjust lah the crop. Okay, and then if you want to uh, make it uh, what we call location X. The lo where is the location or the scale? You might want to make it uh, smaller. My video here, the scale. So scale X and scale Y. So I can scale my video. Okay, X is uh, the height and then Y is the width. So this is I scale my video. Okay, so this is my video. Okay, so my video is in the center lah right now. Okay, and then I want to change the position. So you have the position here. Okay, you can change the position. Oh, sorry. Or you can just uh, scale. We have position location. Okay, location here. Location X, location Y. Okay, you can, uh, I mean, slide the bar, the drag the bar here. So I want to change it into left or right. Okay, so you can change it. Okay, or down. Okay, down, it is Y. Okay, go to location Y here, and then you can go down. Okay. This one, uh, for the first time, uh, I think maybe it is hard for you. But after this, okay, you can, I mean, uh, I mean, make use of this bar. Okay, so I want to put it here or in the center. It's up to you where you want to put your video. Okay, and then I want to remove the background, white background here. Okay, so I go to the effects. Okay, we have project file, transition, effects. So effects. You will have your chroma key, green screen. Chroma key, green screen. Just drag and drop in the video. You okay, put in in the video. Drag and drop in the video. Okay. And then we have the small green icon here. Okay, small green icon in the video here. You just click the green icon. Okay, click the green icon. You will have in your left hand side the property of chroma key. Okay, this is not the video lah. The chroma key. Okay, and then click key color. Okay, we have key color here. Click key color. Double click lah. Pick color, screen color. I have white screen color. Okay, so I will pick the screen color is white. Okay. 
So you can pick any solid color lah. If your background is blue, uh, you can pick blue. What is your background color? It must be solid color lah. If you have green screen, click green screen lah. You have white, click white, black, click black. Okay, and then click OK. Now, I remove my background just now, the white color. Okay, so I don't have any background. Okay, so you can see here, before I have the background, okay, now okay, I want to remove. So I will move and click. Okay. Again, oh, sorry. Home key. Okay, key color. Just now this is my background, the white one. If you have any solid color, you can just uh, without green screen. Okay, without green screen. So pick green screen color and pick white. Okay, so remove my background. Okay, so I will go to the position. Maybe you can see the position here. Uh, sorry, location. Eh? So I move it. Okay. So this is my uh, background already removed. Okay. So this is where open shot I use to remove any background. Okay. If you don't have green screen, you don't need to have a green screen. Or you can just right click your video and then we have layout. Okay, right click your video, layout. Okay, you have center, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So you can choose this one. Okay, where you want to put your video. Okay, layout. Okay, we have uh, center. Okay. So this is your video lah. Okay, for example, I have image here and this is my video. And music background here. Okay, and then you can play. Okay, so maybe I will stop sharing and show you the... Okay. Uh, what we call? music motion and video okay so now i already move my background screen color okay so i can play my video okay so my background music is so loud okay so what I want to do is, I need to click into my music here. So click here, activate it, you make it active. And then on your left hand side, okay, so this is your, uh, what we call, uh, track okay, for your audio. Okay, so this is the track for your audio. And then we have volume. Okay, volume of your audio. Okay, so make it active. Okay, and then we have volume here. Okay, so you can decrease the volume. Okay, and then you can play back. So, okay, then we can. More, much more. So you have to try and error that. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go to volume. Okay. You can off the volume here. I have tried three. Oh, don't have volume mixing. Eh? So the volume is much more lower. So you can, uh, I mean, decrease the volume here. Okay. Until 
Six. And then uh, belajar perkara mengenai uh, bengkel. So my background is not so solid white lah because this is my wallpaper. I have white and pink color. So it is still not solid. Okay. So how you are going to make it solid? You go to your chroma key back. Okay, just now your volume already decreased. Okay, you have slowed down the volume of your background music. And then go back to your chroma key, green color here. Okay, and then you need to, uh, I mean, uh, slide the bar here. Okay, make it larger. Okay. okay. So if you make it larger, then the background will disappear. Lah. Okay, so you have to double click and then make it 50. Okay, to make sure it is clear, clearly uh, remove the background. 50 still not clear, 100. Uh, so 100, it remove the background more. And then you double click, make it 150. Uh, so remove overall. Okay, so double click lah. You need to try an error to remove your background, the white and pink background here. So I have removed all here. Okay. So this is my introduction, for example lah. Okay, I have the image, my face and also the background. Okay, so volume is not. Okay. So you can save. Uh, file, save project lah. Save as project. Save first lah. I'm afraid after you do all, you don't save, okay, and then waste of time lah, save. So, introduction, introduction video, okay, save. So, it will be in open shot, huh? open shot folder, okay, open shot folder admin, okay, so admin, save. Okay, it will be in open shop folder. If you want to save in your desktop, you can save in your desktop. Okay, save project as. Go to desktop. Oh, can you go to desktop here? Uh, so desktop, production video, save. Okay, so my file, my uh, what we call open shot here. Okay, I want to continue my editing tomorrow. So I will open here okay, to edit my video. Okay, so this is your video for your introduction. If you do your slide, it's also the same. Okay, for example, okay, on the first part of my video here, I want to cut because it seems that like I'm not ready yet. So I want to cut it here. Okay, so this is the uh, time where we have the timeline is here. Okay, on the two second here. Okay, two second here. I want to cut it 207. So I click on the razor button. Okay. Razor button uh, tools here. Okay. Gunting here. Cut button here. Click here. And then we will have the line here. The pen with a line here. Okay. So you need to go to the red line. I mean the bar here lah. The red line which uh, I mean, dia macam petunjuk lah untuk kita. Okay, it show us where is our time or uh, duration of our video. So, click here. So, this will be cut. Okay, so this tip cut button. So, you need to click back the cut button here. So, already split my video into two. This is the first video. This is the second video. Already split my video here. Okay, so I need to, I want to remove the first part here because it seems like I'm getting ready. Yeah, okay, I don't want that. So I click the first part here and then I delete. Just uh, press delete button or you can just right click, remove clip. It's up to you. Huh? Remove clip, right click, remove clip or you can just press your delete button. So this is your video and you can move your video. Huh? You can move your video. Okay. So go into the first one. So my first video will be uh, my uh, 
Uh, so my introduction. Okay. So the music will get slower when you talk. Okay, but if you don't talk, it's okay. Just... Untuk kelas uh, kita pada hari level. so, okay, uh, kita akan uh, belajar perkara mengenai uh, bank. Ah, uh, so this is what I want lah. I don't want the first video because I'm getting ready. Okay, so I just start with my. Okay, so this is how you want to do. And another tips is when you want to start your video, okay, make sure you have a pause, uh, pause, I mean, position lah. Okay, maksudnya anda akan freeze, freeze yourself first. Okay, and then you have to smile first and then start recording. Okay, then you can cut yeah, the one you don't want, uh, you want to remove. Okay. And then, if you make some mistake in the middle, okay, make sure just I like I said just now, you need to pause for one minute, and then start recording again. Then it easy for you to cut your video. If not, it is hard for you to cut in the middle. For example, just uh, you you are sneezing, okay, and then you continue without pausing, okay, and that your sneezing is just one second. How are you going to cut in the middle of the video okay or and then uh, your son or your daughter come to you and talk with you okay so you need to i mean it's okay just continue recording okay while talking with your son or daughter okay and then after that pause a while and then continue recording if you don't press the pause button okay just record whatever you talk with your uh, son or daughter okay and then you can cut in the middle Okay, for example, I want to cut in the middle. Okay, for example, just now I have, I have another video which I record that I have made mistake in the middle. Okay, so this is another video. Okay, if you have other videos, you can just put it after your introduction video. Okay, so okay, I just... Untuk kelas kita pada hari itu, okay, kita akan... Uh, bing, uh, sorry. Here. Okay, uh, down, down. okay, so this one, I, I said sorry just now, so I ada kesilapan. Mengenai uh, bengkel, uh, sorry. Uh, so if you say sorry and then you don't post yourself, how are you going to, I uh, mean, cut the sorry uh, word that you say just now? Susah lah kan, sebab dia punya tu pendek saja. Okay. So that's why you have to wait, pause for one minute, so it's easier for you to edit. It's okay if you make mistake, you can edit here. Okay, just listen and yeah. you need to listen. Of course, you need to listen to your uh, lecture. You cannot just uh, record your video lecture and then save and then post to your student without, uh, I mean, check back what you have talked to your student. Okay, sometimes takut kita shock sendiri lah, kita cakap-cakap-cakap, rupanya ada silap. Okay, so this is the time you want to listen to what you have record and at the same time you edit. Okay, two in one lah. Okay, kita kena dengar balik what we have record and at the same time we want to edit. Okay, countdown so time edit. where we have three seconds. Okay, so you can prepare. Uh, I mean, you can prepare and then you can uh, record okay, in three seconds. Okay, okay so I have, uh, I mean, mistake here. For example lah. Okay, so I want to cut this mistake. Okay, so I just cut here. Okay, you can cut. And then you can move. Okay, so then you can record. Okay, in three seconds. Okay, so I want to remove this one also. So I just put here in the middle. Okay, and then okay, so I want to Delete. So I delete the recording and I combine back. Okay, so you can combine and you can uh, what we call buat ni lah. Tapi for this you cannot uh, remove the background. Okay, because it is in the slide. But remove the background. Okay, but if this is just the video and you have the slide background. Okay, so you can remove the background. If like this, 
For example, you uh, record from your screencast, you cannot remove the background. Okay, if you want your slide to be a picture, okay, so I don't want this picture, I want my slide. Okay, so I will go to my slide just now. Go to file, file, and then you need to save as. File, save as. Okay, so this is SF uh, presentation PowerPoint. Now you go here and save as JPEG or save as PNG. Okay, so it will make your uh, slide uh, become what we call uh, picture. Okay, image. So you click save. Which slide do you want to export? All slides or just this one? Okay, if you want to export all slides to picture, click all slides. If not, just this one. Just the active, lah, the current slide that you click. I want just one slide, lah, for example. So I click one slide. Okay, so one slide will be in the picture. Okay, so it will be in the picture. So we go to the picture. Okay. So picture we can just view detail. Okay. A little bit slow. Okay, it's okay. Uh, so you will have the picture. Okay, go into the picture and have your. Uh, slide as image okay and then it's just the same with the slide uh, the image just now you just click the plus button and i mean insert your slide just now okay so the slide picture is uh, Here. So you will have the image and then click it here okay, because of the time. Huh? Okay. So and then you can do same as this one. Okay. So make your slide here and then you go to here. Okay. So you can uh, move lah, your video and also your. Uh, okay. So your slide will be the background. Okay. And then you can uh, if you. Make all your slide as a picture, so you will insert all your slide here, and then drag and drop. Okay, I mean first slide, second slide, third slide, all will be the image. Okay, and then you will adjust the video. Okay, for example, you want to adjust it. Okay, adjust the video, so you can adjust. Okay, either it is, uh, I mean, uh, a long or short video. Okay, so uh, not the video, sorry, sorry. Okay, you need to adjust the, out, sorry, the image uh, according to your video. Okay, not the video, uh, the image you need to adjust according to your uh, video. Okay, so this is open shot. You can try an error. This is a simple editing. Okay, so this is, uh, you can edit your screencast, which you have done a, what we call, a mistake. Okay, just copy, cut, and then delete. Okay, so this is uh, open shot video editor. Okay, and then you have transition. You can make transition here in your video or your picture. Okay, so drag and drop. Okay, in your picture. So you can drag and drop here. Okay, in your video, you can also have effects. Okay, or uh, video also you want to make it. Uh, I mean, so you can adjust according to your video, the transition here. Okay, and then you can see the transition. Okay, just play. So I don't have the background yet. Then the background will appear. And then next thing disappear. Because I put in the transition. Okay. Uh, so this is how you want to do. Okay, you need to. Uh, adjust lah the image okay, into the video and then also the transition here. Okay, so we will have the image and the transition. Okay, untuk kelas kita pada hari esok. Okay, so this is the transition okay, that we have if you 
drag and drop. Just drag and drop where you want to put the transition or the effects. Okay, you will have the wave video. Okay, alpha marks video. Okay, if you have here, you want to put it here, you can drag and drop. Okay, so blur video. Okay, brightness, chroma key just now to remove the background. Okay, and then we have uh, another one is uh, your uh, YouTube. Okay, so YouTube also you will have your uh, just now. Okay, your video that you upload. Okay, and you can have you can edit this one. Okay, edit the video. Okay, so edit title description. You can edit the video. You click here. Click the video, and then you have in the your left hand side is the editor. Okay, click editor. Okay, for uh, YouTube, you can edit in YouTube. Okay, so you can edit by trim. Trim means you want to delete the part that you don't want. So, for example, I want to delete the first part here. Okay, so I click trim. Okay, so this one, the one I want to delete. Okay, uh, so we, we have here. So, this is the part that I want to delete. Okay, just you click where this is uh, the timeline, the duration, okay, the marks of your duration here. Okay, while you are listening on what you are going to post to your student, the link, you can edit whatever you want to edit, which you make mistake. Okay, so and then the first part I want to edit. Another one that in the middle I want to edit because I make mistake, for example. And then I will click edit. Okay, this one you need to remove uh, because it is online okay it's a little bit slower lah. okay if you want to clear or split okay so if not you are going to have a cross mark here okay the cross mark will uh, delete okay whatever you have here okay and then you can uh, split i mean uh, what we call trim others okay so youtube is a little bit slower yeah, if you want to edit, you will have a cross mark. So you will click cross mark, then this will edit, delete. Okay, and then you can split another one in the middle, for example. Okay, so YouTube a little bit slower lah. Okay, and then we have audio. Okay, you can uh, audio track. Okay, because the user is read on read mode only. Okay, so kita tak boleh ubah lah the audio track because it is a read mode only. And then we can add blur. Okay, blur. So, you can add blur. So, where you want to add your blur, for example, in the middle, there is something, some words that I want to blur. Okay, so I will click here and then I will blur. Okay. Okay, trim. Oh, still. Okay, masih tak keluar lagi ya, the cross button. So, you will have the cross button here lah. Okay, YouTube dia agak slow. Betul lah USM tengah hujan sekarang. Slow kot internet dia. Tak pastilah. Okay. If you use YouTube, you will have cross button and after you trim, you can blur. Okay. Where you want to blur, you same as trim. You click here and then you will have the blur. Okay. But I so just undo lah. Okay. Let's edit back. Editor. Okay, so I want to blur here. Okay, add blur. Face blur or custom blur? Face blur means uh, blur your face. It will detect face and blur it. Okay, and then you can apply. So, it's a little bit slower. So, nanti boleh cuba lah. Okay. So, you want to blur at uh, at uh, this one. 30 second. 31 second. Blur your face. Or blur custom means you can adjust where you want to blur. Okay, in your YouTube. Okay, audio also you can do audio. Okay, I mean adjust your audio here. Okay, you want to uh, change your audio or add. It's up to you lah. Okay, add another audio. I don't want this one. I want another audio. So, I will add audio. So, YouTube has free music. Or you have the audio library. Okay, so you can add your audio here. So, blur part of your video here. 
Okay, you can blur your part of your video here. Face blur or custom blur. Okay. Uh, so, here, uh, select. So, we have here, select and apply. Uh, so, you can drag which one you want to, I mean, blur. Okay. So, we have face blur here. Okay, it's still, uh, I mean, loading the time. Where are the duration that you want to blur? Uh, this one. From the minute of 30, so 0, uh, 30, 0, 0, until uh, 0, okay, 35, 0, 0. So, 5 seconds I want to blur my face, for example. Okay, so this is blur here, blurring my face here. Okay, so this is what we want to do. And then, save. Don't forget to save after you trim or you blur your face. Okay. So save and then it will take a long, a few hours to change the apply. Okay. So few hours to change the apply. Uh, so your video have been uh, changed but it is not ready yet until you will have your video. For example, this one. Uh, uh, so, processing, it means it's not ready yet. Processing. See, still processing my uh, editing right just now. Okay, after finish processing, then only you can share your link to your student after you make your editing. Okay, so this is uh, YouTube. Edit from YouTube and you don't have to, I mean, uh, save and then upload back and so on. Okay, for open shot, if you want to save after you finish, Okay, last one. I forgot about save. Okay. You can export your video. The red button here. Click export. And then file name, introduction video, browse. So I will put it in my desktop. Okay. And select folder. Format MP4, just make it default. Okay. And export video. We have percent here. Progress of your export video. Okay, so this video is long because I don't cut the, uh, what we call. So I need to cut it here. So I don't want this one, just make it shorter. So the video. So if it is shorter, so uh, the time, okay, that you want to save, it is much shorter lah. Okay, kalau uh, video tu panjang, one hour, if you save, you take time. 50 minutes is not too long. Okay, but it is not a long time lah. Okay, just save. Production video, uh, desktop. Okay, and then select folder, default, export folder. So, it will export here. So, I export in my desktop. Okay, uh, so it will export. Okay, now we go to KineMaster. Okay, last. Wait now, until we finish. Okay, we can go to KineMaster. We cannot need. Make it finish first. Okay. KineMaster is also uh, user friendly. Okay. You can uh, add your slide. Uh, just now I already show to you how you are going to convert your slide into uh, image. Okay. Convert your slide into image. Okay, okay, for video, okay, so this one, huh? image you already convert, okay, and then you can uh, may WhatsApp lah, the image that you have convert, okay, into your phone. Okay, from your phone, you will get, I open this KineMaster, okay, this is, uh, this is not a desktop version, huh? this is a mobile version where you need to install BlueStack. Okay, BlueStack will show you the desktop version. Okay, but it will, I mean, take a lot of space lah. Okay, and you need to, uh, I mean, apa? To, to close, all the, uh, close all the application, okay, that you are uh, currently running so that it will make it faster. Okay, so this is a uh, mobile version. Okay, blue stack you need to uh, install if you want to, uh, I mean, edit in a, your laptop. But, you can just add it in your, uh, what we call, application, your smartphone lah, your handphone, okay. 
Okay. And then we have, uh, can we use open short video to edit our Google Meet video? Yes, you can also, but you need to uh, download first. Okay, because in your uh, Google Meet video, okay, download and then it have the MP4 format or, or MOV format lah. Okay, you cannot just, I mean, link, use link lah. You have to download. Okay. Uh, is there time limit? Open shot? No, you don't have time limit. Huh? Uh, video ratio uh, 4.3 or okay. So this is up to you. Why? Uh, how are you going to uh, do the ratio? Okay, just now, if you want a white ratio, you can use white ratio. Okay, 69. If not, 43. 43 tu macam kecil lah. Okay, so ini yang kita akan uh, buat lah untuk white screen. Okay. So, this is how you are going 43 or 69, it's up to you. Okay, so can you master, it's open yet. Uh, still not open. Okay, it takes time ah, sebab kita ada apa nama? Uh, banyak ni lah, application. Okay, so the last one, I just show the function. You can try an error while you are looking at your handphone. Okay. Make sure your phone has space and then you uh, send to WhatsApp your slide that you have converted into what we call uh, page, uh, sorry, not page, uh, image. Okay. And then you can insert the image, combine the image. Okay. It's a little bit slow. Okay. I need to close. Hello, hello, this is Salwan from uh, CDAE. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, thank you. That is, <laughs> I think uh, we are having problem with the, with the um, internet connection now, since it's raining heavily outside there. Uh, uh, rasanya kita dah sampai ke penghujung uh, webinar. Uh, kita, kita tunggu sekejap kalau Dr. Siti Zirai dah boleh masuk ya. <laughs> Sketch up maybe one minute, yeah. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, as it is right, there is having these difficulties uh, to reconnect with us. Yeah, it's raining heavily. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Taking, thank you for taking your time uh, to be with us today uh, for our webinar. Um, to Dr. Siti Zuvaida, on behalf of CDE, we would like to thank you for sharing with us the valuable insights about the use of video recording and editing tools. And finally, uh, we, uh, we know how to produce a simple 15-minute video lecture. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, with that, thank you again to all of you uh, for being here. And uh, we have shared with you the link uh, for the feedback form. Please click on the link. The link will only be uh, valid for 30 minutes uh, in order for you to give your feedback. And uh, you'll be given CPD points. Yeah, For those who join us through WebEx, you will get CPD points. Uh, with the condition that you have uh, uh, take, you have um, uh, fill up the uh, form, the link that we have shared with you. Okay, um, well, ladies and gentlemen, keep on uh, trying and keep on practicing. 
because uh, repetition is the mother of learning and the father of action, which makes it the architect of accomplishment. Is a quote by Zig Ziglar. Okay, with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just a, a little reminder again. Yeah, kindly fill up the following feedback. Uh, uh, this link will only be active for 30 minutes. Okay. Let us give Dr. City Zoraida a big round of applause by clicking on the reaction button. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Sorry, Dr. Uh, Chesaman, I just yeah. finished to. <laughs> ah, you managed to reconnect, yeah? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, terima kasih, Dr. Siti Zuraida. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking your, uh -huh. your time uh, out of your busy schedule to be with us. Huh? Thank you so much. You're okay, most welcome. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I want I to thank you... all the participants, Cik Saman, and I will give the tutorial on how to use the KineMaster. Ha, ha, ha. Thank and you so also much. The really appreciate For all the participants. Yeah. Another round of a big round of applause to Dr. City Zoraida, please, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> okay. Happy trying and happy practicing. With that, thank you. thank you very much from us, uh, CDAE. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dan hingga kita berjumpa lagi. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Thank you so much, everyone, for your participation. Thank you so much. Dr. Zoo. Yeah.